In this video, we are going to learn about two important properties of linear transformation. So let me state the first property. The first property says that if T is from a vector space V to a vector space W is a linear transformation, then T of 0 bar is always equal to 0 bar. So if you have a linear transformation, then T of 0 bar must come up to be 0 bar. So answer is very easy to prove. So what we will do is, we all know from vector spaces that 0 can be written as 0 bar plus 0 bar. This is from the property of vector spaces. And if I will apply T to both sides, so I will get T of 0 bar is equal to T of 0 bar plus 0 bar. Correct. Now, what you know that this T is a linear transformation. So, left hand side is, I am going to keep it as it is. So, this is T of 0 bar is equal to, this T can separate out to both the components because it is a, a linear transformation. So, this is T of 0 bar plus T of 0 bar, right. And now, the left hand side, I am going to slightly modify and I am going to write T of 0 bar plus 0 bar. Because we know that T of 0 bar is, is the same as T of 0 bar plus 0 bar. And now right hand side I am going to keep the same which is T of 0 bar plus T of 0 bar. And now you see that if I cancel the T of 0 bar from both the sides, what am I going to get? I am going to get 0 bar is equal to what? T of 0 bar. So we have proved that T of 0 bar will always come out to be equal to 0 bar. Very simple property but very useful property. The second property that we have is for linear transformation is that if T is from a vector space V to W is a linear transformation, okay, then T of minus of U bar will be the same as what? Minus of T of U bar. This is very, very clear property because I am simply going to write it uh, as what? The answer I am going to write it as T of U bar plus minus of u bar is equal to t of u bar plus t of minus u bar. How this came? Because I know that this t is a linear transformation. So, t will separate to u bar and it will also separate out to minus u bar, right? And if I observe the left hand side carefully, I can write it as t of this u bar plus minus of u bar. This we know is nothing but 0 bar which is equal to T of u bar plus T of minus of u bar which is equal to but what is T of 0 bar from the first property see here I have written it here. So, on the first property we know that T of 0 bar is always how much T of 0 bar is 0 bar is equal to T of u bar plus T of minus of u bar. Correct. And therefore, when I bring, when I look at T of u bar plus T of minus of u bar is equal to 0 bar, I am going to say that what is the relation between T of u bar and T of minus u bar? They must be opposite of each other because their addition comes out to be how much? Their addition comes out to be 0 bar. And therefore, I can declare that T of minus u bar must be obviously equal to how much? Minus of T of u bar because their their addition is coming to be how much the sum is equal to 0 so one must be the opposite of other so t of minus u bar must be obviously equal to minus of t u bar these are the two important properties of a linear transformation and therefore we can easily tell this answer now that t if i take suppose i take a t from r2 to r2 and if i if i'm defining it as t of x comma y is equal to x plus 1 comma y plus 2. Is this a linear, is t a linear transformation, right? So, is t a linear transformation? The answer is obviously no. The reason is that t of 0 bar means t of 0 comma 0. 0 bar is nothing but 0 comma 0. So, t of 0, 0 will be equal to what? 
is equal by this formula, it is 0 plus 1, comma, 0 plus 2, which is 1, comma, 2. So what am I getting is that I'm getting T of 0 bar is equal to how much? 1, comma, 2. But we know that for a linear transformation, T of 0 bar should be always equal to how much? It should always be equal to 0 bar, right? So this is not equal to 0 bar. This is not the vector 0, right? So this means that the T that we are talking about, this T cannot be a linear transformation because if it is a linear transformation, then what should happen? Then T of 0 bar should always come to be equal to 0 bar. But here, what are we getting? We are getting that T of 0 bar is equal to some vector, which is 1, comma 2, which is a non-zero vector. Therefore, T cannot be a linear transformation. 